Do you find folding a hem to be a tedious task? This tutorial will give you a couple tricks to make this process faster. First, you need to know your hem allowance. This is sometimes printed on the pattern or found in the directions. Using a sewing gauge is the most common method, measuring and pinning the fabric in small increments before pressing, but this way can be time consuming. One trick is to take the area to be hemmed and do a basting stitch along the edge. This would be the longest stitch on your machine. The basting stitch should be the same distance away from the raw edge as the hem allowance amount. So if my hem allowance is one inch, then I'm basting one inch away from the edge. Now take the fabric to your ironing board and press to the wrong side the same amount, but use the stitches as your guide with them ending on the fold. No measuring is needed because you already did this. To do a double fold, take the raw edge and bring it to the crease, pressing again. Then stitch in place, sewing at the top folded edge. To finish, you can use a seam ripper to remove the original basting stitch and you're done. Another option, if you don't want to worry about removing a basting stitch, you can use the hem gauge method. You can either buy one like this, or use cardstock or cardboard to make your own. Using a ruler, mark up common measurements you'll think you'll use when folding. For now, I'll make lines at one quarter inch, half inch, and one inch. Looking at the wrong side of the fabric, place your hem gauge on the fabric, folding the fabric over until the raw edge hits your desired line on the hem gauge. Then press the fabric, moving the hem gauge along the fabric edge until you've done the whole thing. The hem gauge will give you the stability you need to get a crisp, accurate fold. I did one quarter inch for the first part, so in order to finish, I'll repeat the process, but this time bringing the fold of my fabric to the one inch line, making my total hem allowance one and one quarter inches. Press and stitch into place. Both of these techniques will give you a similar look and work best for straight edges, and it'll save you time when it comes to folding and pressing. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified of our new releases. Also check out ProfessorPinkCushion.com to view our complete library with well over 450 sewing tutorials. If you would like to directly support us, you can join our YouTube membership and earn some exclusive perks. Thanks for watching.